Hi, my name is Jonathan, and welcome to the 109th episode of the Bible in One Year, where we are reading through the complete King James Version Bible in chronological order. I'd like to thank each and every one of you who has been watching and following along. If this video becomes muted in your region, you can view this video as well as any video in their entirety of the series over on YouTube. The link for my channel is in the description for this video. Maybe you don't read the Bible, or perhaps you haven't read it in a while, or maybe you're seeking for a fresh way to read it. I pray that today's scripture will help you on your journey. If you have any questions in your relationship with God, I encourage you to seek out an answer, whether that's through prayer with your pastor, a youth minister, a church elder, a family member, or a friend. Today's scripture is found in the book of 1 Samuel chapters 28 through 31, as well as we'll be reading in the book of Psalms, the 18th chapter. If you have your Bible, you may read along or use the subtitles in this video, or you can simply listen to the Bible read aloud. Before we read today's scripture, let us pray. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we have gathered again today to share, read, and hear your word. We ask that you open our hearts and our minds as we turn to your word. And through help of the Holy Ghost and prayer, let your word become alive in our minds. Let it minister to our souls and let it be reflected to others through our lives. In Jesus' na name we pray. Amen. If you have your Bible, please turn with me to 1 Samuel chapter 28, and let's begin reading from verse 1. And it came to pass in those days that the Philistines gathered their armies together for warfare to fight with Israel. And Achish said unto David, Know there assertedly that thou shalt go out with me to battle, thou and thy men. And David said to Achish, Surely thou shalt know what thy servant can do. And Achish said to David, Therefore will I make thee keeper of mine head forever. Now Samuel was dead, and all Israel had lamented him, and buried him in Ramah, even in his own city. And Saul had put away those that had familiar spirits, and the wizards, out of the land. And the Philistines gathered themselves together and came and pitched in Shunem. And Saul gathered all Israel together, and they pitched in Gilboa. And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid, and his heart greatly trembled. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by prophets. Then said Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her, and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor. And Saul disguised himself, and put on other raiment. And he went, and two men with him. And they came to the woman by night. And he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by this familiar spirit, and bring him, me him up, whom I shall name unto thee. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul hath done, how he hath cut off those that have familiar spirits, and the wizards, out of the land. Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life, to cause me to die? And Saul swore to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice, and the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what sawest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. 
And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel, and he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am sore depressed, for the Philistines make war against me. And God is departed from me, and answereth me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee, that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Then said Samuel, Wherefore then dost thou ask of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee, and is become thine enemy? And the Lord hath done and the Lord hath done to him as he spake by me, for the Lord hath rent the kingdom out of thine hand, and given it to thy neighbor, even to David. Because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord, nor executest his fierce wrath upon uh, Amalek, therefore hath the Lord done this thing unto the, thee this day. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines, and tomorrow shalt thou and thy sons be with me. The Lord shall also deliver the host of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. Then Saul fell straightway all along on the earth, and was sore afraid, because of the words of Samuel. And there was no strength in him, for he had eaten no bread all that day, nor all the night. And the woman came unto Saul, and saw that he was sore trembled, uh, troubled, and said unto him, Behold, thine handmaid hath obeyed thy voice, and I have put my life in my hand, and have hearkened unto thy words which thou speak, spakest unto me. Now therefore I pray thee, hearken thou also unto the voice of thine handmaid, and let me set a morsel of bread before thee, and eat that thou mayest have strength, and thou goest on thy way. But he refused, and said, I will not eat. But his servant, together with the woman, compelled him, and he hearkened unto their voice. So he arose from the earth and sat upon the bed. And the woman had a fat calf in the house, and she hasted, and killed it, and took flour, and kneaded it, and did bake unleavened bread thereof. And she brought it before Saul and before his servants, and they did eat. Then they rose up and went away that night. Now the Philistines gathered together all their armies to Aphek, and the Israelites pitched by the fountain, by a fountain which is in Jezreel. And the lords of the Philistines passed on by hundreds and by thousands, but David and his men passed on in the re-reward with Achish. Then said the princes of the Philistines, What do these Hebrews hear? And Achish said unto the princes of the Philistines, Is not this David, the servant of Saul, the king of Israel, which hath been with me these days, or these years? And I have found no fault in him since he fell unto me unto this day. And the princes of the Philistines were wroth with him, and the princes of the Philistines said unto him, Make this fellow return, that he may go again to his place which thou hast appointed him, and let him not go down with us to battle, lest in the battle he be an adversary to us. For wherewith should he reconcile himself unto his master? Should it not be with the heads of these men? Is not this David of whom they sang one to another in dances, saying, Saul slew his thousands, and David slew, uh, and David his ten thousands? Then Achish said, called David, and said unto him, Surely as the Lord liveth, thou hast been upright, and thy going out and thy coming in with me in the host is good in my sight. For I have not found evil in thee, since the day of thy coming unto me unto this day. Nevertheless, the Lord's favor thee not. 
Wherefore now return and go in peace, that thou displease not the lords of the Philistines. And David said unto, unto Achish, But what have I done, and what hast thou found in thy servant so long as I have been with thee unto this day, that I may not go fight against the enemy of my lord the king? And Achish answered and said to David, I know that thou art good in my sight, as an angel of God, notwithstanding the princes of the Philistines had said, He shall not go up with us to the battle. Wherefore now, rise up early in the morning with thy master's servants that are come with thee, and as soon as ye be up early in the morning, and have light, depart. So David and his men rose up early to depart in the morning, to return into the land of the Philistines. And the Philistines went up to Jezreel. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziglag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire and had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, neither great nor or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captive. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captive, Ahinom the Jezreelitess and Abigail the wife of Nabal the Carmelite. And David was greatly depressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abathar the priest, Abimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod. And Abathar brought hither the ephod to David. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou sure, shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. So David went, he and six hundred men that were with him, and came to the brook Besor, where whose that were left behind stayed. But David pursued, he and four hundred men, for two hundred abode behind, which were so faint that they could not go over the brook Besor. And they found an Egyptian in the field, and brought him to David, and gave him bread, and he did eat. And they made him drink water. And they gave him a piece of cake of figs, and two clusters of raisins. And when he had eaten, his spirit came again to him, for he had eaten no bread, nor drunk any water three days and three nights. And David said unto him, To whom belongest thou, and whence art thou? And he said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant to an Amalekite, and my master left me, because three days agone I fell sick. We made an invasion upon the south of the Cherethites, and upon the coast which belongeth to Judah, and upon the south of Caleb, and we burned Ziklag with fire. And David said to him, Canst thou bring me down to this company? And he said, Swear unto me by God, that thou wilt neither kill me, nor deliver me into the hands of my master, and I will bring thee down to this company. And when he had brought him down, behold, they were spread abroad upon all the earth, eating and drinking and dancing, because of all the great spoil that they had taken out of the land of the Philistines and out of the land of Judah. And David smote them from the twilight even unto the evening of the next day. And there escaped not a man of them, save four hundred young men which rode upon camels and fled. And David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away. And David rescued his two wives. And there was nothing lacking to him, neither small nor great, 
neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil, nor anything that had that they had taken to them, David recovered all. And David took all the flocks and the herds, which they drave before those other cattle, and said, This is David's spoil. And David came to the two hundred men, which were so faint that they could not follow David, whom they had made also to obey at the brook Besor, and they went forth to meet David, and to meet the people that were with him. And when David came near to the people, he saluted them. Then answered all the wicked men and men of Belial, of those that went with David, and said, Because they went not with us, we will not give them aught of the spoil that we have recovered, save to every man his wife and his children, that they may lead them away and depart. Then said David, Ye shall not do so, my brethren, with that which the Lord hath given us, who hath preserved us, and delivered the company that came against us into our hand. For who will hearken unto you in this matter? But as his part is that goeth down to the battle, so shall his part be that ter tarrieth by the stuff. They shall part alike. And it was so from that day forward that he made it a statute and an ordinance for Israel unto this day. And when David came to Ziklag, he sent of the spoil unto the elders of Judah, even to his friends, saying, Behold a present for you of the spoil of the enemies of the Lord. To them which were in Bethel, and to them which were in the south Ramoth, and to them which were in Jatire, and to them which were in Aror, and to them which were in Sifmoth, and to them which were in Eshtimoah, and to them which were in Rachel, and to the Rishal, and to them which were in the cities of the Jeramathites, uh, and to them which were in the cities of the Kenites, and to them which were in Horma, and to them which were in Cherushan, and to them which were in Athash, and to them which were in Hebron, and to all the places where David himself and his men were wont to hunt. Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. And the Philistines followed hard upon Saul and upon his sons, and the Philistines slew Jonathan and Abinadab and Mount Malchisua, Saul's sons. And the battle went sore against Saul, and the archers hit him, and he was sore wounded of the archers. Then said Saul unto his armor bearers, Draw thy sword and thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come and thrust me through, and abuse me. But his armor bearer would not, for he was sore afraid. Therefore Saul took his sword and fell upon it. And when his armor-bearer saw that Saul was dead, he like fell likewise upon his sword and died with him. So Saul died, and his three sons, and his armor-bearer, and all his men, that same day together. And when the men of Israel that were on the other side of the valley, and they that were on the, on the other side Jordan, saw that the men of Israel fled, and that Saul and his sons were dead, they forsook the cities and fled, and the Philistines came and dwelt in them. And it came to pass on the morrow, when the Philistines came to strip the slain, that they found Saul and his three sons fallen in Mount Gilboa. And they cut off his head and stripped off his armor, and sent into the land of the Philistines round about, to publish it in the house of their idols, and among the people. And they put his armor in the house of Ashtaroth, and they fastened his body to the wall of Beth Shan. And when the inhabitants of Jebesh Gilead heard of that which the Philistines had done to Saul, 
all the valiant men arose and went all night and took the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons from the wall of Bethshan and came to Jabesh and burnt them there. And they took their bones and buried them under a tree at Jabesh and fasted seven days. Let's turn to the 18th chapter of Psalms and begin reading at verse 1. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken, because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also, and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub, and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion rounded about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstones and st coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke. O Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me, because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands he hath recompensed me. For I had kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands and his eyesight. With the merciful thou wilt shew thyself merciful. With an upright man wilt thou shew thyself upright. With the poor thou wilt shew thyself poor, pure. With the pure thou, shalt, thou wilt shew thyself pure, and with the forward thou shalt shew thyself for, forward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but will, but wilt bring down high looks. For thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God I have leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord, or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength, and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet, and setteth me upon my high places. 
He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holden me up, to thy gentleness hath made me great, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my deep that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with the strength unto battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord. But he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dust in the streets, the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close, pla close places. The Lord liveth, and blessed, me, blessed be my rock. And let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avenged me, and subdueth the people unto me. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yea, thou lifted me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praise unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and sheweth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed for evermore. This concludes today's Bible reading. I encourage you to join me again tomorrow, where we will be reading in the book of Psalms, chapters 21, uh, 121 through 123 through 125, in chapter 128 through 130. If you like this content, please click the like and subscribe button on YouTube and hit the bell icon, or you can follow me on Facebook so that you don't miss an episode. And please don't forget to share this video with your friends. If this video becomes muted in your region or unavailable, you can view this video as well as any video in this series in their entirety over on YouTube. The link is in the description for this video. Let us pray once more before I end the stream. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you for providing us with the opportunity and the place to read, hear, and share your word. Lord, we pray that you remind us of your word throughout our day and help us to apply it to our lives. We ask that you will continue to keep watch over us and protect us. We entrust our lives to you to direct, use, and guide as it is your will. Let us have unfailing faith in you and know that you will keep watch over us and will meet our needs. Lord, we thank you for this day and all the blessings around us, for the unseen work that you are doing now in our lives and the lives of others, and what you have in store for us in the future. Lord, help us to share the love and patience that you show us every day with others. Lord, we pray that not our will, but yours, be done. Let your presence be manifest in our lives, our families, our friends, our co-workers. Shine your light upon them that, that follow you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.